<laughs> Next up is a company hoping to make a dent in the growing plastic waste problem. Hi, Sharks. I'm Uchel. And I'm Russ, and we're Cabinet Health, the sustainable healthcare company. Did you know that the medicine industry produces 190 billion single-use plastic medicine bottles every single year? That's enough to make a line from here in Los Angeles to Australia 325 times. And of wow. all of those bottles, only three to 7% are recycled. The rest end up in our oceans, our landfills, and eventually our bodies. Sharks, in my hand is the amount of microplastics that you unknowingly ingest every single year. That's 260 grams of microplastics, which is like consuming a credit card every single week. Wow. Cabinet Health is a sustainable healthcare company that's invented the world's first compulsible and refillable system. Today, we sell and manufacture high quality over-the-counter medicines and supplements, and we're on a mission to eliminate single-use plastic, one cabinet at a time. We're positioned to change this industry entirely, and we're here today to ask for a $500,000 investment for a 2.5% stake in cabinet. <laughs> so Sharks, are, are you, you ready, ready to unplastic plastic the healthcare, healthcare industry? industry? <laughs> sharks, in front of you, is a sample of our products. It starts with our refillable, stackable, and super space efficient bottles. Also right next to that is our compulsory refillable pouches that meet FDA standards. And while they might look like plastic, are made out of backyard compulsory materials. So I see you opening them, it's a child resistant cap. And then you hear that satisfying snap, that's the closure system. Cabinet promises customers that we'll provide our products less than the brand price with more pills, and customers continually save by staying sustainable using our plastic-free refills. So they save about 20 to 30% on pricing. So the refills come in these packages, these packs, is this the idea? Absolutely, so the way that uh, our product system works is when you buy a starter set to customers that's around 10 to $20, that glass bottle that you have in front of you is a forever bottle. When you purchase it, you get that once. Uh, we make a 60 to 80% product margin on so that. you're selling a commodity. You're appealing to me because I care about sustainability. Is that the story? That's a really important part of it. Kevin, we actually have 700,000 customers to date. 700,000. Wow. And the reason that they buy from us is number one, we have a better value and customers can save sustainably on refills. So the first refill becomes where the savings start because you're not, this is an expensive package. Kevin, it's even better. So our products are priced less than the brand name. The reason we can do that, I'll let Achel share about our supply chain advantage, but customers save on the first purchase. So I'm happy to share you know, how we got started as well. I think that'll start to answer some of your questions here. Yes, tell us about you and your story. I'm a third generation healthcare entrepreneur. My grandfather built one of the world's first acetaminophen factories 60 years ago. Wow. So when most wow. kids were at summer camp, I was literally in a medicine factory <laughs> learning the ins and outs of this world. And as weird as it sounds, I loved it. Uh, <laughs> along the way, I started my professional career in healthcare strategy and supply chain consulting. Uh, and quite frankly, I was born to build this business. And while hmm. I have a deep personal background in healthcare, my good friend Russ's background in sustainability is really what makes our partnership special. Okay. My personal background is I'm a sustainable product specialist and a U.S. Army officer in the Connecticut Army National Guard. And I, I started my career in state and federal legislatures building environmental policies. From there, I moved over to the private sector where I worked at Deloitte Consulting. It's where I met Och and I led and started a program that helped scale social businesses. It would be an appropriate time at this point to say 500,000 for 2.5 percent imputes a $20 million valuation. So I've been waiting quietly in the weeds. <laughs> Unusually. What are the sales? <laughs> happy to share, happy Absolutely. to share. So to answer that directly, we'll do $14 million in sales this year. There we go. Wow. $16 million I didn't expect that. How much are you making on that? Right now, we're profitable on a unit basis. We're investing heavily in research and development to be able to bring additional sustainable products to market. When I hear 14 million sales, what I really want to know is how much cash flow is it spinning off? Got it. And so if I understand that question correctly... Well, it's very you... simple. Cash flow is cash flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This year, we'll do 8 million in inbound cash receipts. Is that your net profit? Is 8 million that you're taking home? 
Uh, it is not. So net profit this year will be negative 20%. We'll be break even Q3 of next year. Now, why negative 20%? What's, Great the, question. what's the problem? So we're investing about two and a half million dollars this year into research and development. No way. Okay, I got called a little bit of BS there. What? Okay. You got your sustainable packaging. Mm -hmm. You're using OEM medications. You're not inventing any medications that are going to go through FDA approval. The products do have to right. go through rigorous stability testing by drug molecule because we're every completely changing the packaging. So and every that's single where your medicine. research and development oh. money is going right yes, now. Yes, correct. We need to invest heavily that the packaging that we've made is safe. You have to get FDA approval for different packaging. Absolutely. Every time you release every single pill count and every single packaging. Let me save you a little time. Yeah. It feels to me like the kind of business that I'd wait forever to get my money out. There's too much risk in this. There's always something else to spend money on. So for those reasons, I'm out. The next 12 months, what do you project your revenues and your profits to be? Yeah, next 12 months, we're projecting around 25 million. Uh, we'll do about a negative 10% net income, and then we'll have a break-even point of October 2023. Can you tell us about, about the fundraising history? Absolutely. So we've raised $13 million oh, from mission wow. investors that believe in eliminating single-use plastic from medicine. What was the latest valuation? Uh, $81 million post money. So we're here offering a deal wow. that's four times better than that because we believe in the value. Wow. Guys, look, I'll, I'll clear the deck. I appreciate what you're trying to do on sustainability, but a lot of what you're doing does not add up to me. It's just not a fit for me. I appreciate what you're doing, but for those reasons, I'm out. Um, I'm in this space, and I believe in the power of sustainability being a motivator for consumers. I've seen it happen with Blue Land. But I can't do this deal. It's your valuation. It's insane. Even now, you can say it's a discount from when you did it at $81 million, if that was the number. I'll give you the $500,000. I want 12.5%. Kevin, first of all, really yeah. appreciate the Thank offer. So Let me get to the punchline for you guys. I, I think the packaging is great. You're playing in a space with highly recurring business activity. I'm a big believer in sustainability in general. That said, here's my offer. I'll do $500,000 and I'll do it at 10%. Yeah. I think where you're really gonna need help is in the operational excellence of scaling up. Mm. And that's really what, you know, the business at DoorDash we're all yeah. about. And in terms of what I've done, you know, in terms of my entire entrepreneurial career, is figuring out every single way to actually optimize that process. Yep. So that's what I actually think, you know, we can do together, and I think it'd be a huge business. We do think that your investment, your investment, Mr. Wonderful, could be worth a lot more if we partnered together. And so want to get a sense if you'd be open to doing a deal together, or for Lori, if you'd want to come in on that. I think what you've done is really brilliant. You can get rid of so many plastic bottles. You did a beautiful job of it. So I really, really like that. But I think the valuation is out of this world. Um, I hate it. So I wish you guys both good luck. I'm sorry, I'm out. Guys, yeah, it's absolutely. time to make a decision, yeah, guys. You absolutely. can counter, say yeah. yes, say no, it's up to you. Tony and Kevin will be curious if you'd be open to a creative deal structure where we can give you an opportunity to earn that equity investment back and you guys come in together. Go ahead and make your counter and see what they say. How about a deal where uh, you do three and a half percent each uh, in terms of equity, but we give you a royalty uh, where you actually earn your initial investment back. What's the royalty on each unit sale? Uh, we can do up to 2% of top line revenue until you have that initial investment repaid. I'll tell you what we would do, and I'm speaking on Tony's behalf. If you let us double our money, okay, um, and this is not being a savage at all, so 500K each, then the royalty gets, stops. Does that work for you, Tony? I think it works, I mean, although the equity feels light. It is light, except now you've got But you put the 2X, you put the 2X return threshold. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I can get behind that. You got a deal. That's the lowest I'd go. You guys got a deal. Done. <laughs> deal. I'm going to door dash up to you guys right now. So nice to Mr. Meet you. Wonderful. Doing a deal. Thank you. Congrats, guys. Congrats, Rob. Yeah. We'll yeah. blow it up for Thank you. Guys. Congrats, guys. Thank you. Congrats, guys. Thank you very much. Congrats. Love it. You know, every time I get a royalty, I feel warm and fuzzy. <laughs> Sometimes you are actually wonderful. <laughs> never. <laughs> never.
With Kevin and Tony on board, we can bring sustainable packaging to so many more medicine cabinets and learn from the best. We took a slight valuation hit, but what's really important is we're on a mission to eliminate single-use plastic from medicine. To have two sharks on our side to be able to do that is exactly what we need to be able to solve the problem.